Joe Dementor for the wonderful flight of the Concord! popular in uh, New Zealand. We're, um, and, um, the, re the reaction in New Zealand when we got it, that's pretty it's crazy. crazy, yeah. It was a bit of a shock to come out here to that. Uh, yeah. We're probably, probably in New Zealand, we're about the, probably the fourth most popular folk paradise duo, <laughs> <laughs> which, is, which is pretty big there. It's, like, it's probably about, what, eight times the size of this? Yeah. Which, which actually works out smaller, but per head of population, it's like, do you see what I mean? It's a calculation. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, it's going off. Uh, That's what I should have said. Yeah. That's what I should have said. It's going off. There. Yeah. We get heaps of uh, chicks. Yeah, like, we get that's just, of one of, that's just one of the perks. Yeah. If you're thinking about getting into folk parody, you get a lot of women and girls coming up after the show. Females. Like, in a place like this, just just out the door to the left, like just waiting around, <laughs> wanting to kiss us. <laughs> yeah. What's funny about that? <laughs> uh, yeah, mm. sure. I mean, it's just part of the job. And uh, we go along with it. Of course we do. I mean, it's just, uh, just part of the show, really. Yeah. Just wait there, just have a bit of a kiss, and then... Uh, just out there, like, out to the left. By the, by the exit there. Jermaine's a, um, a very sort of passionate kisser, and um, yeah, I'm more of the, uh, I'm the textbook kisser. Brett knows, um, Brett knows a lot about kissing. Yeah. He's, uh, you know, he's read a lot of books about it, and uh, <laughs> he knows a lot of different styles. He's uh, quite well read. Yeah. Um, we, we have practice and we give each other feedback. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes it gets a bit crazy, a bit heated. Yeah, sure. Uh, the girls want to take it further. They'll say, say crazy things, just like, like if it's a, a breadalyzer or that's a girl who's into bread. Um, you're like, hey, bread, can I see your undies? And it's like, it's, that's the sort of language we're exposed to. And, uh, it gets pretty crazy. If it's a germaniac, sometimes it will be like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like, um, ha have you got a stiffy or something like that? <laughs> I didn't want to say that, but that's just one of the ones that I can remember that happened, and that was a, you know. It was an uncomfortable situation. It gets, for me. it gets difficult, basically, and we we wrote this song to try and, you know, to point out that it's inappropriate at that stage. You oh, know well, I mean? We hardly know you, yeah. girls. We don't, we don't know you. How how far do you expect us to go? <laughs> really, you know, it's not appropriate. If we knew, if we probably had an insight into what your mind's like, maybe we'd take it a bit further. <laughs> yeah, but you know, slowly in stages. Yeah. <laughs> so um, usually when when that sort of stuff's happening. Um, we just go into these chords, like I'll go, hey, Brett, help me out. <laughs> a kiss is not a contract, but it's very nice. Oh yes, it's very nice Just because you've been exploring my mouth Doesn't mean you get to take an expedition further south, no A kiss is not a contract But it's very nice It's very, very nice Just because we've been playing tonsil hockey Doesn't mean you get to score the goal That's in my jockey No, just because I'm in an acoustic folk band doesn't mean I only want Poontang I can't go around loving everyone I just wouldn't get anything done Because I'm only one man Baby We're only two men 